Residents concerned about a possibility of a new mine in the Upper Peninsula spoke out at a public hearing hosted by the DNR this week. Like the Eagle Mine, mining company Talon hopes to find enough nickel here to justify setting up shop. Talon, Michigan connected both to Talon Metals in Minnesota and global mining giant Rio Tinto has applied to lease exclusive mineral rights for over 23,000 acres in four UP counties. If granted, that would, lease, that would add to its existing 400,000 acres of land it already owns between Launce and Marquette. The leader of the DNR's management division explains. With, with a direct lease like this one is, there you know you have a company that's interested in in, in entering into a mineral lease. They've decided that for, through whatever research they've done that there's potential for mineral mineral extraction in an area. So as we've gone through, we've had the classification process, and now we're on to the next part where we uh, maybe we missed something. I mean, those people are experts, but everybody everybody can overlook something. So. That's kind of the intent behind the public review process that we're going through right now with the public hearing that we had yesterday as a component of that. The current request to lease the minerals, does we've said this time and time again, it does not include authorization to do any exploration activity or to, or to develop a mine. Fry said earnings from mineral leases go into an endowment for the state parks. And while it isn't clear how much money could be brought in from this deal, the statewide practice brought in about $37 million to the parks last year. As for the public, both local residents and people who live near Talon's current operations in Minnesota expressed strong opposition. Shanai Matson is one of those Minnesota residents. She says she lives about 20 miles from where Talon has proposed its new nickel mine in Tamarack and says, though environmental studies and public hearings are happening, the federal government has, has given tens of millions of dollars to Talon before the studies have even been completed. I even know if a, perm, if a mine in Tamarack, Minnesota is going to be safe enough to receive the permits, and yet the federal administration is giving them money to build the processing facility for that mine. And so, you know, what, what that looks like to me and to others on the ground is that this is a sort of sham process. Like, we are being told that there's a public process that will review whether this is a safe mine uh, in our community, and yet we have them being funded uh, ahead of that process. Kathleen Heidemann lives in Michigan near Marquette and is also opposed to the mine. Heidemann is a longtime advocate with the Upper Peninsula Environmental Coalition. She says while mining provides some jobs, residents of the UP may also be left with the true cost of this operation. The people who are going to benefit are not here in the UP. Um, they may not even be in the U.S., um, but the people who will bear the consequences of any environmental degradation are here. We have what other places used to have and lost, and that's what the UP is going to be known for. I mean, it already is, but um, I think it's short-sighted to get rid of all those potential um, high values, um, which are long-lasting negative consequences for short-term profit. Right now, both Eagle Mine and Humboldt Mill are in compliance with environmental reg regulations, but have several anomalies being tracked, according to the Community Environmental Monitoring Program. Meanwhile, the DNR's decision on Talon's mineral license could come as soon as next month. You can find our full story on the mining at upmatters.com, right here, as we continue to follow the future of mining in the UP.